let's see. Oh, X. X. Like I was going to write Twitter and then I realized Twitter, there are a lot of characters. I'm limited in the titles of my YouTube videos to how many characters I can put in. And Twitter has a lot of characters. So I can just write X now and it doesn't have to be Twitter. But for all intents and purposes, this is Twitter. Anyway, Elon Musk uh, uh, tweeted or X'd, posted, whatever. Uh, when was it? In August 5th, so four days ago. This is the tweet he put out there. If you are unfairly treated by your employer due to posting or liking something on this platform, we will fund your legal bill. No limit. Please let us know. Wow. So first you go, okay, I mean, uh, all right, that's nice of Elon, and, and uh, you know, nobody wants to be treated unfairly by the employer. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't one of the things that makes the United States unique, one of the things that makes the U.S. economy flexible and resilient, isn't it the fact that we have, or at least we nominally have, we, we pretend we have, employment at will, isn't that kind of the generally the legal rule? Employment at will? Shouldn't an employer have every right to fire an employee over anything that the employer views as negative, abhorrent, unacceptable, or dislike? Are we now not going to allow employers to, quote, discriminate about anything? Or is it just Twitter is unique? So, first of all, from a perspective of free markets, from a perspective of freedom, on what basis would you sue an employer if they fired you because you tweeted something stupid? Or not stupid. It doesn't matter. They viewed it as it's stupid. What is the rational basis for suing an employer for firing you for any cause if your employment is at will. So this is super anti-free markets, anti-freedom, anti-freedom of employer, anti the freedom to discriminate. I believe people have the right to discriminate. Right? Now, it is true that our laws have watered down significantly the idea of employment at will. They've created all kinds of categories by which employers are not allowed uh, to discriminate. Okay, then maybe in those limited circumstances you can sue. I don't like it that the law has done that. It, it, and it doesn't matter whether your employer fired you for rational reasons or for completely irrational reasons because he got up that morning and decided, yeah, I don't like Joe, I'm going to fire him, or whatever. It's called employment at will. The will is gone. Therefore, your employment is gone. Your employer doesn't owe you an explanation for why I fired you unless you have some kind of interesting, you know, contract. Maybe a union contract or some other contract. I mean, either we believe in freedom or not. When you leave a firm, the employer doesn't ask you, is it rational for you to, to resign? Or is it irrational for you to resign? If it's irrational, I'm going to force you to stay. The rationality, irrationality has nothing to do with it. It's about freedom. So yes, we have all these legal constraints about discrimination, about race and gender and whatever. And, and those, I guess, you can sue for. I, I'm not an advocate for them. I, I think they're aberration. I think they reduce our freedom. I think they're wrong. But you certainly have a right to sue. But for everything else, including for expressing an opinion that your employer doesn't like, there's no basis for the lawsuit. There's no legal standard in the U.S. on the basis for which you could sue. Elon Musk here is encouraging people to sue their employers 
For what? These are going to be frivolous lawsuits that are going to, you know, thrown out. A number of legal scholars have already commented on this. Uh, there's a good article on this by uh, Walter Olson. There's also on the Volk Conspiracy, Eugene Volokh of UCLA has commented on this. Well, by what theory are they going to sue? But imagine, imagine if you uh, tweeted uh, in a tweet and made fun of your CEO, made fun of your company, or made fun of your product. Who gets to decide what unfairly is? I guess Twitter does, whether they'll cover your legal bills or not. So uh, what if you tweeted anti-Semitic stuff on your Twitter feed and your boss happens to be Jewish? D does he really want to work with you? What if you tweeted racist stuff and your boss happens to be black? Does he really want to work for you? So there are lots of reasons why you would want to fire somebody for a tweet. So here Elon Musk is encouraging people to have a view of employment which is completely un-American. He's encouraging people to have a view of lawsuits that is completely counter to the American system. They used to be actually a, 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 a idea in common law that's, that was basically held you liable for encouraging people to sue uh, frivolously. Uh, I guess that does not exist anymore in, in the law in the United States, unfortunately. But this is just a, a form of encouraging people to sue for no reason. We have enough lawsuits in America. We try to resolve too many things through the legal system. Elon Musk should just stick to flying rockets into space and doing the other innovative things that he does. Whenever he gets involved in anything slightly philosophical or legal, God, it gets completely messed up. Here he's advocating for something clearly that is anti-freedom, anti-freedom of contract, anti-freedom of employment, anti-freedom, period just another statist.